This vertical windmill has been up for a couple of years, but it's finally delaminating. So I have to take it down. It still works. The stator works. Doesn't put out much power. Just a few watts. But I'm thinking of using this to charge very small batteries, like AA batteries. And that would work for something like something like this, if I were to just charge a couple of AA batteries, it should work very well. Because even though this flashlight is designed to be powered by a small solar panel, there are just some days that I don't get sunshine, like today. Um, no sunshine at all. So this is not going to last. Uh, I was thinking of using a vertical windmill like this. Uh, all it has to do is turn. When it turns, it generates a few volts. It doesn't have to turn fast. Um, and that would be ideal for charging something really small. Because nowadays, uh, LED lights, the power demand uh, is very small. I have this flashlight here, this one here is just one, runs on one double A batteries and because I have a bigger solar panel on it, it charges whether I have sun or not. But if it is something small like this, if I have no sun then there will be no charge even though it is just one battery, there won't be enough of the charge to power the, the flashlight. So I'm thinking of uh, reviving this. It's not going to charge a 12 volt. 90% uh, of the time it just won't do it because there's not enough current generated because most of the time it turns slow. The vertical windmill that I have now is a three-bladed design and I have to make new wings for them. So I'm testing, this is like a four-bladed design and I'm trying to see if there's an advantage to having a four-bladed one. Let me just slow this down. I just have this these are like four, four cardboards uh, mounted on a yogurt lid and I tried three later ones. They don't quite turn as well. It needs a lot more wind for it to start. Even this design needs quite a bit of wind. Of course, if I tilt it the right way, maybe it is not horizontal or the axis is not correct, it will not turn as fast. So that's what I'm looking at now to see how I should proceed with my rebuild of the broken vertical axis windmill.